Are we ready to derby? I think that's a yes. All right. We've got the Minnesota Frostbite up against Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. And we've got Major Threat on the line up against Interrogator. A little jockeying uh, at the jam start line. And we are off to a fast start. Major Threat being hit to the outside, but drawn back and back on the track again. That was Hot Tamale. Uh, interrogator, his lead jammer. Major Threat still trying to get through. Uh, being bumped to the outside again by Hot Tamale. Tear pushing through at the front. Does get four points for Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. And that, that is a big hit to the outside. Major threat drawn back again, trying to get through on that initial pass, trying to get clear of the pack. Tear for four points. And Princess Apocalypse going to the box. Hot Tamale giving Major Threat a lot of trouble in the back of the pack. Tear for four more points. And Major Threat is now through. Rage of Aquarius helping her. A little bit of offense on that inside. That jam has been called off. And we will see how many total points Sioux Falls has acquired. We are um, going to have a little bit of an official time out. A lot of excitement in the stands today. I love that. Seems like we've got a lot of friends and family and fans of all kinds for our Junior Roller Derby. And we've got these packs back on the track again. Looks like Crash You Go Lucky. Ready to jam up against Mickey Wicked. And still an official timeout, so we have a chance to at least announce one of our teams here. We've got the Sioux Falls Baby Dolls visiting team. Thank you for joining us today. 101 is Havoc. 127 is Lady Meow Meow. 14, Princess Di. 18 is Hot Tamale. 19, Lilinator. 20, A Jack Attack. 24, Little Miss Savage. 480 is Rainbow Dash. Number 7, Gourmet Cupcake. 77 is Interrogator. 80 is Scar Wars. 84 is Mickey Wicked. 91, Cuddle Killer. 92, Princess Apocalypse. That is your Sioux Falls roster for today. Appreciate them coming to play. And we will get to the Minnesota roster in just a bit. Um, I believe that was not your whistle. And so we will be starting this jam in just a minute. Or five seconds, also known as five seconds. Um, bump to the outside on Crash You Go Lucky, who is back on the track again. Um, looks like 84 Mickey Wicked being held by that tripod of blockers, but 92 coming in to do some offense. That is Princess Apocalypse working some offense for the Sioux Falls Jammer. And Mickey Wicked is through as your lead jammer. Crash You Go Lucky still working to try to get through that pack up against 92 Princess Apocalypse, who is doing some pushing around, does bump Crashy out to the outside, but Crashy goes for that inside line and a star pass. That is a successful star pass to serious trouble. Number seven, 007, I would like to say. Uh, that jam has been called. <laughs> and it looks like the Minnesota Frostbite is now on the board with one. Sioux Falls Baby Dolls did get two on that jam, and they are at 18 points currently. We have Cuddle Killer on the line. Up against Powell, Maine. 
and Palman is taking that inside, pushing up front heartily. Uh, it looks like Void is trying to stay in front of Cuddle Killer, but Cuddle Killer is out and is your lead jammer. Palmian having a little bit of trouble, but getting some help from a friend, takes that inside line and stays tight to the inside, pulling through nicely. We also have Rage of Aquarius on the track right now, helping Void and Punchy Longstockings to hold that jammer. So that jam has been called. Looks like um, three points for the Frostbite and one for Sioux Falls. Um, for those watching at home, we do have the Frostbite in purple and Sioux Falls in pink. And we have Savage Patch Kid on the line right now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we also have Ajax Attack up for Sioux Falls. Savage Patch pushing at the front very wily. Gets knocked to the outside, but in the back, we also have Ajax Attack getting knocked out. Savage Patch Kid is your lead jammer being drawn back, but in position to keep on skating, working to get through. Getting knocked to the outside by Tear. Being drawn quite a bit back, but Interrogator headed to the box. Savage taking the inside line and is through that pack. As I mentioned, is your late jammer working to come back around and make some points for Minnesota Frostbite. Savage Patch Kid. Excellent job. We've got We've got Ajax attack coming through and Savage Patch wisely calls it off. And what do we have for points on that one? It looks like It looks like Savage Patch kid did get 4 points and Ajax attack 4 points as well. So that's a 4-4. Four, four. Jam, Frostbite is now at eight points with Sioux Falls BB Dolls at 23. We're looking at Lilinator on the line and Diagon Alley for Minnesota. Both benches very deep in jammers with Lilinator through first. Just sprinting out of the front of that pack. Diagon Alley trying to take the outside, being bumped out and drawn back. Has to go in behind Princess Apocalypse. Uh, gets up on those toe stops and heads back to the back of that pack. As I mentioned, Lilinator is lead, has four points. Diagon Alley, Diagon, Diagon Alley is out of the pack. Lilinator having a little trouble up front. Ronnie Rocket holding Lilinator back. We have Major Threat back on the line up against Havoc. A couple of blockers for Minnesota Frostbite include Roller Wrath and Topsy Turvy. Not able to hold Havoc, however, who slides through on that inside line. Havoc picking up speed, looking to make some points. Pretty fast pack right now. Major Threat is through. And Havoc trying to get some points. Major threat coming up to the back of the track as well. And takes a tumble. Havoc pushed to the outside. And Frostbite trying to regroup. Uh, that is the end of that jam. Looks like we've got some penalties for the Frostbite. And that was a 3-4 jam. Major Threat picked up three against the Sioux Falls, four points on that jam. We do have Crashy Go Lucky back on the line. Yeah. 
up against Gourmet Cupcake. And Gourmet Cupcake has been assessed your lead jammer. And Crashy Go Lucky takes off that helmet cover, holds on to it for a minute, and cruises right through. So going to put that back on again. Gourmet Cupcake calling off that jam. Sioux Falls Baby Doll is currently at 39 points with Minnesota Frostbite at 12. And we've got the uh, Frostbite super fans in some purple stuff down here at the end in front of those fans. Fans in front of the fans, that's smart. Interrogator for Sioux Falls Baby Dolls up against Pow Main. Pow Main pushed down the middle. Interrogator slides around the outside and is lead jammer. Pow Main stuck in the back takes out one of the Sioux Falls skaters and slides around the outside. Also out of the pack. <laughs> Palmaine cruising around that track. Uh, done with her initial pack. Interrogator hit to the inside. And that jam has been called off. Four points for Sioux Falls, zero for Minnesota in that jam. We have Diagon Alley on the line for Minnesota Frostbite. And Princess Pocalypse. I believe this is the first time Princess Pocalypse has jammed in this game for Sioux Falls. Diagon almost out of that pack, but a fast pack recycling in front. And Princess Apocalypse is your lead jammer. Diagon right on her heels. That jam is called off. Princess Apocalypse calls it off before any points can be scored for either player. So our Minnesota roster today includes Void, zero, Z pack a punch, zero, zero. 007 is serious trouble. 112, punchy long stockings. 1134 is Moxie Turvy. We've got 133 is Crashy Go Lucky. 17, Diagon Alley. We currently have Major Threat jamming and a Little Miss Savage for Sioux Falls. Also on the roster for Minnesota is Pow Main, number 20. 212 is Laney Lunatic. 23, Savage Patch Kid. 321 Ronnie Rockets. 42 is Star Wolf. 5 is Roller Wrath. And 67 is Rage of Aquarius. So major threat picking up points on this jam. And uh, Little Miss Savage has um, gotten through on her initial pass. Major threat is calling it off after picking up 8 points. Seems very pleased about that. Frostbite welcomes her back to that bench after she picks up 8. So Frostbite is currently at 20, Sioux Falls at 43. Rainbow Dash on the line for Sioux Falls. Up against Crashy Go Lucky. We got Rage of Aquarius doing a little offense against Sioux Falls, but Lead jammer is Rainbow Dash, making short work of that, cruising through on the outside. Crash, you go lucky, about a half track behind. And not only does Rainbow Dash call it off, she hollers, I'm calling it off. That's helpful sometimes. Gains four points on that jam, bringing Sioux Falls up to 47. Minnesota Frostbite remains at 20 points. We've got Princess Di jamming against Pow Main. A very solid uh, three walls for both teams. And Lilinator 
has drawn Palmine back past that jammer line. But Palmine picking up speed and hopping that apex, getting lead jam status in very smart fashion. While Princess Di is being knocked to the inside. Palmine working on a scoring pass. It looks like there is a back block penalty sending Palmine to the box. So this is a power jam. But Roller Wrath has knocked Princess Di to the outside. And we have a pretty fast pack happening right now. Couple blockers in the box for Sioux Falls. And everybody continues to skate and move. Interrogator is currently in possession of the helmet cover. And they're skating some laps at this point, it looks like. Trying to slow down that pack a little bit. Palmin is out of the box and through for four points. Very uh, smooth move on the inside there. Interrogator still trying to get through. Does get out of the front of that pack on Tear's initial pass. Palmain hitting the back. Takes out one of her own skaters, but keeps on skating. Tear now has four points. And Palmain has put eight on the board. That jam has come to an end. And we have a timeout being called by Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. So we've got both rosters mentioned. We also have a large group of officials helping us. I believe I've got all of them listed here. We've got Ermagerd, Hail Satin, Anorism, Apron, Sriracha, Bruise, Springsteen, Smash Ketchum, Guinevere, Bianca Donk, Bach Blocker, Velociroller, Miller Light, Autocorrect, Idiopathic. So we've got thank you to our officials for officially officiating. Absolutely need those during skating roller, roller derby bouts. These two teams were matched up at the end of April at Roy Wilkins, and Sioux Falls Baby Dolls did get the win by a few points on that. They're lining back up. Looks like they've got Laney Lunatic, Punchy Longstockings, Rage of Aquarius, and Void blocking for Minnesota. And on the line, we've got Princess Apocalypse for Sioux Falls and Savage Patch Kid for Minnesota Frostbite. Bit of a tumble back by that jammer line. And Hot Tamale giving Savage Patch a little tough time, but she's going along the inside. Looks like Princess Apocalypse is your lead jammer. Pushes through on the inside line. Savage uh, Patch has lost a toe stop. And is looking to try to fix that along the outside as a Princess Apocalypse continues to skate. So Minnesota Frostbite regrouping at the front, setting up a tripod, taking out Princess Apocalypse, but Savage Patch is back on the track again after that little equipment malfunction. Oh, a big hit to the inside, but Savage Patch is back up again. It was a hit by Scar Wars, who is um, going to the box for her trouble.
Princess Apocalypse picking up four more points on that pass. And Savage Patch takes off of that helmet cover, but does uh, regain, uh, does hang on to it and gets through that pack. Little jammer on jammer action. Savage Patch back on the track again. Savage Patch cruises along the outside, but does get knocked out, and that jam has come to an end. We've got one blocker for Sioux Falls in the box. And Diagon Alley is up jamming for Frostbite. We also have Lady Meow Meow on the line jamming up against Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley tries to take that outside line, does get bumped out. We do see a lot of hot tamale escorting jammers either down or off the track and pulling them back, regrouping in the back with uh, one of her other blockers. And regardless, Diagon Alley makes it out for lead jam. Picks up some speed coming around that corner, looking to make some points and try to close that gap a little bit. We are currently at 28 to 66. Frostbite um, at now 32 points. Sue falls in the lead. Lady Meow Meow also out of the pack. And one blocker for each team in the box. Nicely done. A very fast move by Diagon around the outside to get points. Minnesota Frost by defense knocking around Lady Meow Meow while Diagon Alley tries to avoid that hit and does so, sees it coming. Does not let Hot Tamale hit her again on that corner. Coming back around for more points and quickly comes into the back of that pack. It is escorted out. We've got Lady Meow Meow knocked to the outside by 007, serious trouble. Diagon Alley is now up to 16 points on this jam. Does have that lead jam status, so is control of what happens next as long as she is legally on the track. She can certainly call it or keep going. Looks like she's gonna continue to um, work on points and now does call it off. Brings that score quite a bit closer. That was a big jam. 17 points for Minnesota Frostbite. Eight for Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. So Minnesota Frostbite, who is in purple, is now at 45 points. Sioux Falls Baby Dolls in the pink and white has 74 points. We now have Scar Wars on the jam line. I believe this is her first jam of the evening or of the day. Major Threat has been up a number of times. She does get through for lead jam status quickly. It's getting low, coming up hot to the back of that pack while Scar Wars is knocked down, but does now make it through on her initial pass. Major Threat being drawn back by, I believe, Lilinator. Hits the back of that pack up against Princess Apocalypse. Lilinator. Havoc. And Little Miss Savage blocking for Sioux Falls. Major threat going hot into the back of that pack, but does get called for a back block. It is now a power jam in favor of Sioux Falls. Full set of blockers for both teams currently out there. Frostbite setting up in that tripod shape up front. Getting some offensive help, but Scar Wars needing to retreat back as she has gone out of the track to the inside. And Princess Apocalypse also headed to the box. Again, bit of a fast pack happening here while the Frostbite are getting that shape together up front. And Scar Wars hoping for some help from her blockers up front. She does get knocked to the outside. 
and major threat back on the track and through. Slides right through that pack, picking up four more points. Again, Rage of Aquarius, Moxie Turvy, punchy long stockings in that tripod shape. Major Threat happy with that jam as well. Sioux Falls did gain 11 points on that jam against Frostbite's 12. Better to run that a bit. We have Rainbow Dash on the line jamming for Sioux Falls. And we've got Palmain up again for Minnesota Frostbite. Palmain tries to take that outside line and does step over Interrogator to get through. However, lead jam has already been awarded to Rainbow Dash, who is cruising around that inside line. Palmain trying to pick up speed as well. Putting a little pressure as that jam is called off. We'll see if we have... Yeah, it looks like we've got four points for each jammer on that one. So not called quite quickly enough. Palmain was able to get through that pack and pick up a point for each of those blockers that she passed. We have Crashy Go Lucky back on the line. And Hot Tamale. Hot Tamale's jamming. Hot Tamale does burst through the front of that pack. Crashy is knocked to the outside, is retreating and coming back in, getting a little bit of help from her friends. However, Hot Tamale is back through without, without much trouble. Rage of Aquarius being drawn back. Some offensive maneuvers by Sioux Falls to try to help Hot Tamale get through, which she does rather easily. Some nice offensive work by Sioux Falls. Rage of Aquarius taking out a couple of jammers as she grabs the star.
All right, it looks like we're gonna do a little bit of warming up. And then we'll go into that second half of Frostbite versus Sioux Falls. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you to South Metro Fire as well. Skaters are going to warm up and get ready to get back at it. To get now is a great opportunity to get merchandise and snacks. There are still food. Uh, we got grill, drinks, some chips, and uh, really cool merch. If you haven't been down to the table yet, so just scoot on down to the floor level. Check that out. Each team is going to get 10 minutes to warm back up for safety reasons. And once that 20 minutes is over, we will be packing up concessions and merch, but we will have the second half of this game. So that is coming up yet. Thank you for your patience.
Looks like we're ready to start that second half of the Minnesota Frostbite Sioux Falls Beaver Dolls game. You've got about a minute and a half to go get snacks or merchandise. Uh, they will be wrapping it up here, getting packed and hauling it away for the day. Um, we've got our teams back on the track. Currently have full packs for both teams. Major threat up against Hot Tamale. Going to be jamming here soon. Welcome to the second half of Minnesota Frostbite versus Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. And the jam has begun. We've got skaters down, back up again. Major Threat jamming against Hot Tamale. Major Threat being drawn back by Scar Wars. So for anybody new to Derby, if a skater has been knocked out of bounds, they have to return in behind any skater that might have been ahead of them. That was a very fast jam. Hot Tamale was lead, called it off before Major Threat could um, get ahead, make any points. So 0-0 zero, zero jam to start out the second half. Looks like we've got Little Miss Savage on the line. And jamming for Minnesota Frostbite is Pow Main. We've got Moxie Turvey and Roller Wrath, I believe, part of that tripod, holding Little Miss Savage back. Palmaine is being drawn back by Tear. Tries to take that inside line, but is knocked out by Rainbow Dash. We do have a lead jammer. That is Little Miss Savage. And uh, gives a sign to some fans down at the end here. Pretty happy about that situation. Powman coming around to the back of the pack as well. However, Little Miss Savage keeps skating, is knocked out, and there is a penalty called on Roller Wrath. Little Miss Savage keeps skating, keeps that position, and is calling it off. That is a 4-4 four, four jam there. Gourmet Cupcake is on the line up against Crashy Go Lucky. Score currently is 102 for Sioux Falls. And Minnesota Frostbite has 65 points. Crash Go Lucky getting knocked to the inside while Gourmet Cupcake is knocked to the outside. Everybody pulling back. So we are starting uh, behind the jam line now with the entire pack and the jammers. Crash Go Lucky doing a little juking up on those toe stops, trying to run through those blockers, looking for a little bit of help. A little bit of help from her uh, blockers. We do have the jammer for Sioux Falls in the box. So power jam for Crash Girl Lucky. Does a little jumpy jukey move. Does get partway through. Um, knocked out. Is coming all the way back behind Hot Tamale. Hot Tamale facing off, a little staring action. 
and Crashy Go Lucky juking around. Very successful there. Hot Tamale ends up down on the track. But Crashy Go Lucky is now heading to the box. It is a power jam in favor of Sioux Falls currently. Gourmet Cupcake is out of the pack, is not lead jam. Again, you have to pass all of your opponents legally in order to be a lead jammer. Um, just sliding through that pack to gain four points. Minnesota Frostbite blockers are setting up in that tripod formation, but getting knocked around by Interrogator, very successfully allowing Gourmet Cupcake through. Gets back on that track for an 8-0 jam in favor of Sioux Falls. We see a lot of the tripod formation here. Currently, we've got Moxie Turvey and Z Pack with a brace skater helping them. Very solid position to be in. Typically, one offensive skater helping to break up the other pack. And we've got Rage of Aquarius going down on that inside line. And Interrogator is through. Does gain lead jammer status. Looking to the bench on what to do next. We've got a couple of skaters in the box for Minnesota Frostbite, including Rage of Aquarius, who was jamming. So this is a power jam for, I'm sorry, Princess Apocalypse. Misspoke earlier. That is number 92, Princess Apocalypse, who is coming hot into that pack. It does get knocked out, comes back on, and pushing around and through. Gains a little speed to get out of the out of that pack in the front. Rage of Aquarius hitting and going past her friends as well as the blockers from Sioux Falls. That is the initial pass. Initial pass for Rage of Aquarius. While Princess Apocalypse is scoring points currently. And Rage of Aquarius just gets around Hot Tamale. Very nice move there. And that jam is called. So merch and concessions are wrapping it up right now. It's your last, last final chance to get anything from floor level here. Number 91, Cuddle Killer. Does a fancy hop into position to jam for Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. And number 23, Savage Patch Kid is on the line for Minnesota. Savage Patch taking a fast hop out front using her friend who is making some O for her. She does get through, but it looks like Cuddle Killer is your lead jammer. Savage Patch is right on her tail though, picking up a little speed. What's gonna happen at the back of this pack? Looking to make some points. We've got Cuddle Killer is stuck in the back and Savage Patch Kid up front pushing through that hard tripod, trying to go to the outside. Is keeping that pack moving, however, which is in her favor. As she gets up front, goes down, gets back up again. Derby is a full contact sport. You just never give up. It does look like we have four points for each jammer on that last jam. And now we have Lilinator on the line up against Major Threat. Major threat looking at the backsides of Gourmet Cupcake. Little Miss Savage pops through right away. Inside line hustling as Lilinator is right on her tail. This is a speed skating 
bit right here, watching how fast these skaters come into the back of the packs. Those defenders that they are up against and both jammers through. We currently have Lillinator just a bit in the lead, but major threat taking that inside. And a little jammer on jammer action. Lillinator does go down for a heartbeat. And it looks like we have a back block on major threat. They are going to the box. This is a power jam in favor of Sioux Falls. Let's see if Lillinator can capitalize on this situation. Her pack is looking to see what she wants and give a little bit of help, a little offensive help to get her through. Currently, Diagon Alley is holding Lillinator back, trying to bump her to the outside. Doesn't work. Lillinator gets through, just bodies flying everywhere. And uh, skater, another skater headed to the box for Minnesota Frostbite. We'd have a blocker in the box currently. Lillinator just ducking and weaving and hopping through there. Back for some more points. Uh, looks like we had a no-pack call, and we've got Little Miss Savage going to the box for not reforming quickly enough. And both jammers on the track. Bit of chaos happening as trying to get our jammer through. Each, each pack is trying to get their jammer through. And we're back to a power jam scenario as this jam ends. We've got the jammer and a blocker in the box for Sioux Falls currently. We're going to start with a power jam for Minnesota. And it looks like Diagon Alley is hopping to the line. There's a time out called for Minnesota Frostbite. To regroup, figure out what they're going to do in this next jam. We want to thank everyone who has traveled to come to the tournament today, as well as all of our volunteers here making this happen. We had teams from a number of states. Apparently it was hotter here than in uh, Florida the other day. Because summer has hit Minnesota. Not complaining. Diagon Alley on the line. As the only jammer on the track currently. We'll see what kind of strategy these teams decided to deploy. Everyone is up towards that pivot line. This gives Diagon Alley a chance to pick up some speed. Fast pack as well as Sioux Falls is in that tripod position, but moving, moving, moving up front. Minnesota trying to slow them down, do a little offense, but Di Diagon Alley has been knocked down, is back up again. Some big hits on the track. She does make it through. And is called lead jammer, but is taken out to the outside.
thank you again to our EMTs. It looks like we will be regrouping here. And our teams, teams are back on the track. We have Lady Meow Meow and Crashy Go Lucky jamming. Some of our blockers currently out there are Roller Wrath, as well as it looks like Serious Trouble. Seeing if she can cause a little trouble doing some offense up front there. We also have Z Pack for Minnesota Frostbite. Um, Penalty called on Z Pack, who is heading to the box currently. Crash go lucky getting knocked around a little bit to the outside and getting drawn back. Again, if you are knocked off the track, you cannot better your position when you come back on again. That's where you see those jammers going all the way back to make sure that they don't cut the track. Crash go lucky has got some great little juking moves that have been helping. And uh, Crashy is our lead jammer, looking to make some points, and has called off that jam. <laughs> Sometimes when you're jamming, you're called lead, you're not really sure if you are the lead jammer. <laughs> Lilinator and Ronnie Rockets on the line. I believe this is the first time we've seen Ronnie Rockets jamming today. We've got Void and Rage of Aquarius out there helping, as well as Lainey Lunatic. And she does get, she pops out the front there, is pulled back. And Lilinator is your lead jammer from Sioux Falls. And we've got Ronnie Rocket out of the pack. Got some great crossovers, getting low, picking up speed. And called on a penalty, heading to the box. So this is a power jam for Lilinator and Sioux Falls Baby Dolls. Lilinator scooping through, scooping through the middle of the pack and calling that off. Icing Ronnie Rockets in the penalty box. So we have a short pack for Sioux Falls, but they also have a power jam, a power start. We've got a timeout being called. Sioux Falls is taking a minute, it looks like. Time out for Sioux Falls and coaches checking in with uh, our skaters on both team. No doubt talking a little strategy, what's going to happen next. 
And again, we've got the Minnesota Frostbite in purple and white. They're currently at 81 points. Sioux Falls Baby Dolls at 149. It's the first year of the juniors programs for Minnesota, and we've got a lot of great talent that we're seeing on the track today from both teams. We've got Dre and uh, Shugs and Peppers doing some squatting motions as they're talking to the bench over there. Interpretive dance, perhaps, not sure. And we have Rainbow Dash jamming for Sioux Falls. Looks like the packs are starting up towards that pivot line. And some nice blocking one-on-one -on -one there at the front. We've got Rainbow Dash, correct, is the lead jammer. Looking to make some points before this power jam ends. Getting some help from Princess Apocalypse, doing a little offense up towards the front. And Ronnie Rockets briefly on the track and now headed back to the penalty box. Again, some nice, well-timed offense on part of the Sioux Falls blockers to get Rainbow Dash through, trying to provide as much opportunity as possible for Rainbow Dash to score during this period of time. Got a pretty fast pack situation and Roller Wrath was able to knock Rainbow Dash out, but is heading to the penalty box for her trouble. Rainbow Dash goes down, decides to crawl it off. Icing Ronnie Rockets in that penalty box yet again. Starting this jam in a power start for Sioux Falls. It is true that the Minnesota Frostbite Jammer could get out of that penalty box and gain, gain lead jam status if it has not already been claimed. And the Sioux Falls skater number 84 is Mickey Wicked, has gotten lead jam status. And short packs on both sides. Mickey Wicked is out and in the clear for now. Ronnie Rockets really working to get out of that pack, but has been drawn back by Lilinator. Mickey Wicked easily sliding on the outside as I believe no pack was called. Got some destruction penalties happening right now. Two Sioux Falls blockers in the box, a third one headed there. And uh, Laney Lunatic has taken that star pass successfully. Picking up speed coming around that track. And Mickey Wicked has decided to call that jam off. So, uh, Laney Lunatic forcing that call. Sioux Falls gains five points on that jam. We see Star Wolf, Z Pack, and Serious Trouble blocking alongside Moxie Turvey, I believe, for Minnesota up against Princess Apocalypse. And Powman makes quick work of that, getting through the pack for lead jammer status and going fast into the back of that two wall, but goes for the inside, hops that apex, goes down, but back up again. Princess Apocalypse headed to the penalty box. So we are in a power jam situation with Powmain as lead jammer. So we'll see we'll see what kind of strategy Minnesota employs at this point. And that is Star Wolf doing some offense against number 80 Scar Wars. Star Wolf and Scar Wars got it. A um, little bit of a tumble to the outside there. Kind of messy pack but Powmain Pushing, pushing to get through and calling it off. 
end of that jam, we see four more points, I believe, for Minnesota. That jam was in favor of Minnesota Frostbite, four to zero. Sioux Falls Baby Dolls are now at 166, Minnesota Frostbite at 85. We've got Savage Patch Kid on the line. Looks like we have some fast pack situation here. I'm trying to see if we can, who's gonna end up with lead on this. We've got Savage Patch Kid gets through. Derby is a full contact sport. We know that going into it doesn't mean it's not a bummer when those injuries happen. We see how tough the skaters are getting back up again. Respect that, as well as staying down when you need to. We've got Major Threat on the line up against Little Miss Savage. And some appears that we have an official timeout. And we are at five seconds, looking at a power jam for Minnesota this time. We've got Major Threat out there with the star on her helmet, on their helmet. And they make it through handily, picking up speed. Major Threat, very fast skater. Looking to add some points for Minnesota. Coming fast into that pack, ducking around the outside. Successfully gets those four points, making it look easy. Sioux Falls setting up a major threat, hopping around the outside. Four more points for major threat. Listening to the coaches on the outside there. Deciding to take the in. Little hop. Little hop as they pick up some speed. Now at 12 points during this jam, 12 to zero. Little Miss Savage has made it out of the pack. Was able to get past Roller Rath's hips. Major threat deciding to keep going. Hops around that out, a little bit of a backward skating and turns to cruise back around those corners just continuing to make points i believe this is the highest scoring jam so far in this game major threat does call it off but brings minnesota up to 109 points that was a 24 point jam for major threat 109 to 170 currently. We have Hot Tamale on the line up against Crashy Go Lucky. We've seen Crashy Go Lucky on the line a couple of times and looking for some help from 212. No, 112, Punchy Lawn Stockings, I believe it is, helping her get through. That is a cut on Crashy Go Lucky, who is currently heading to the box. Hot Tamale is your lead jammer. Yeah, yeah. 
Frostbite getting back together, but being pulled apart. Interrogator doing some offense to keep that pack moving. And uh, Minnesota Frostbite trying to reform that shape. It can be tricky to get back together, get low, get tight, keeping everything slow. Especially when that jammer is coming in hot, like Hot Tamale did there. Hot Tamale communicating to her skaters as to what she wants. And looks like that strategy worked well. Four more points for Hot Tamale. As the end of that jam, and uh, looks like we have an official review called by Minnesota. Got some chanting from the fans. Serious trouble saying, yep, go ahead, chant, clap, pumping up the team. An official conversation in the middle, determining what might have been going on. People closely checking the track as if something went missing. There's a nut missing. You don't want a loose nut on the track. You don't want a loose nut falling off of your skate. A lot of times that's off of a wheel. Don't lose a wheel. Holler if you see a nut. All right, the track has been checked. Looks like we've been cleared to play. And Lady Meow Meow up against Serious Trouble. Looks like we have full packs for both. Oh, no, we've got a short pack for Minnesota. Um, but Serious Trouble has popped out quickly. Took just a couple of seconds to get out and gain lead jam status. Coming up hot to the back of that pack, looking to make some points. Lady Meow Meow also threw on her initial pass. And four points for Serious Trouble. Looks like she's going to... Uh, Work on getting a couple more points here. Nicely holding it around the outside. Staying low and staying on that track. Lady Meow Meow having a little trouble getting through. Another pretty fast pack, but serious trouble, so that's all right. I'll just scoot through on the inside. Bumped out, does not want to cut the track. Comes back in, up the middle, and then the outside for four more points. Serious Trouble currently has 12 points in this jam. 
penalty box is empty, so we are up to full force for both teams. And Sears Trouble says, that's all right. I'll just scoot around that outside. She keeps up that speed coming into the pack. Sometimes that's the tough part. You want to slow down, but our good jammers, they just keep up that speed. We have had a star pass. Gourmet Cupcake is currently your jammer for Sioux Falls. And serious trouble with another four points. Yes, her bench is telling her to call it, and she does. Preventing any further points from Sioux Falls. That is a 20-point jam for Serious Trouble. Major Threat had a 24-point jam earlier, and now a 20-point jam for Serious Trouble. That brings Minnesota Frostbite up to 129. I believe that is a 56-point game. That's Frostbite is closing that gap a bit and putting Palmaine on the line, who sprints through to gain lead jammer status. Followed not too far behind by Sioux Falls skater number 80. That is Scar Wars. Palmaine looking to make some points. Running on that inside, but does get knocked out as Scar Wars cruises through. Palmain being drawn back as Scar Wars looks to pick up more points. Pow is hit out one more time and is calling that jam off. Getting some feedback from her coaches to call that jam. We've got Mickey Wicked back on the line, jamming for Sioux Falls and Serious Trouble. So after that big 20-point jam, putting her back out there again to see, yes, indeed, gaining lead jam status. Amped up, looking to make some more points for Minnesota Frostbite. It is now a 60-point game, but Serious Trouble trying to get a couple more points on the board, not allowing herself to get knocked off the track. Got a big pile up on the turn. And serious trouble knocked to the outside. Being drawn back by interrogator. And serious trouble is calling it off. After receiving four points. Minnesota Frostbite continuing to work on closing that gap. We have Princess Apocalypse on the line for Sioux Falls and Major Threat back on the line for Minnesota Frostbite. Again, we see those tripods that can be very effective. And as Major Threat is caught up behind Sioux Falls Pack, Princess Apocalypse does gain lead jammer status. A little jammer on jammer action around that corner. Going so fast, it's hard to keep your skates under you at times, right? And Major Threat is off the track and now headed to the penalty box with Princess Apocalypse pushing and Scar Wars doing some very effective offense against the Frostbite blockers. Princess Apocalypse looks pretty happy with those uh, points that she's just scored. Coming back around. Nice one-on-one -on -one by Roller Wrath. Slowing down the progress of Princess Apocalypse. Yeah. 
major threat out of the box and through the pack. Another pile up on the corner and penalty being called on Scar Wars. 25 seconds potentially left on this jam. Princess Apocalypse is lead, but it's running this jam. Nice juke move to the outside. Manages to deflect that hit and gain more points for Sioux Falls. And that was a 16 point jam for Sioux Falls. Eight points more on the scoreboard for Minnesota Frostbite. We're looking at Laney Lunatic jamming for Minnesota. And uh, Hot Tamale is back on the line for Sioux Falls. We do have uh, short packs on both sides, but Laney Lunatic is out. She is your lead jammer. And we do have 47 seconds on the period clock, but a minute to 44 on the jam clock. So we shall see how much more derby we have today. Laney has received four points, as has Hot Tamale. And that jam has been called. A few more points being put on the board. And the period clock is ticking down. We do have an unofficial score. Unofficial score on the scoreboard is Sioux Falls Baby Dolls at 213 points over Minnesota Frostbite at 152. Well played game. Thank you all for joining us for the Have a Nice Day tournament and have a great rest of the day.